Welcome back. I'm going to answer the most commonly questioned on my DMs. Uh, first, how much did this kit cost? And what parts or kit did I use? So I'm going to go over that with you. In short, this is cost about $3,800. And that's not including the actual tune itself. Let's show you what we got and I'll put uh, little clips of the prices. First off, the manifold, that was about 70 bucks. The turbo was about 250 bucks, give or take. Then you have the different fittings. I had to get a longer line than what came in the kit. So this is a 48 inch line instead of the 42 inch line that comes with it. The wastegate is a tile wastegate. Uh, this did need to be replaced for the turbo, but um, I replaced it anyway. It was cheap, it was like 30, 40 bucks maybe, I don't know. The thermostat, which you can't see um, in there. And then I deleted this thermostat. So no cost for that. That was whatever it costed. Injectors that you can't see was 160 bucks. And then I spent about another $10 for the gasket for the intake manifold. The intake pipe was already on the car, so that's not included. Uh, this was probably gonna be about 40 bucks for this little pipe here with a eBay um, blow off valve. Then it's connected to some universal piping that goes to the intercooler. The intercooler is the Treadstone TR8. It was probably about 230 bucks, 220 bucks. This side is actual Treadstone piping. So you have the piece here, one piece there, going to the piece here, which then goes to the turbo. So that was a couple hundred bucks. And then you have the pipe that goes here for the intake. I'll show you. This right here. And then you have the filter itself. And you have all these clamps. So I put all these clamps and this. So that added up. This was probably 30, 40 bucks. Uh, turbo blanket. The gauge. The Innova PSB one or something does a uh, boost and air fuel all in one. This is the wiring the, for the upper end to hook up your CAN bus to the plug. So this one needs to be wired in. You got oil, which is, I don't have a screenshot of that. You got coolant over there. I eh, know my place is a mess. In the cooler, I did not use. You have the mid pipe, which I needed, you may not need. That was, I don't know, 150 bucks maybe. It was probably about 100 bucks for the new radiator and the slim fans. Um, you may get lucky and not need a new radiator. Mine was defective, so I had to get a new one. Coils are already on the car. Uh, but the spark plugs were about 20 bucks for the new spark plugs. I did replace a bunch of bolts everywhere and nuts. So I spent probably about 15 bucks on that. Yeah. You have the gauge pod, which was probably about 10 bucks. And that's part of the cable. All right, so the up rev, uh, that was about $700. I got the tuna version, um, slightly over 700. That was for the license and the cable. Got miscellaneous um, hose clamps. Uh, 
new new radiator hose, battery tie down. My car didn't have one, so I had to get one. So I just got a cheap one on Amazon or eBay. Couplings. I had to order this one. So two and a half to uh, two inch. So two and a half to two inch. Three inch to two and a half inch. And then the rest of these that was already on the car, but all the other ones, like these, came with a universal intercooler uh, turbo IB kit thing that I got. And then along with the actual clamps itself. The brackets, those are about 50 bucks or so. I haven't put them on, but I got new battery terminals. And then, if you can't see, down there is going to be the oil pressure sending unit, which I had to replace, and then also to get the T for it. So that is a list of most of the main things for this turbo build. Of course, there's a lot of small stuff like uh, different vacuum hoses and connect wire connectors and fuse connectors, uh, grommets to get to the firewall, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, oil filter, uh, this to protect the vacuum hose line, which is like 10 bucks, goes over the, it's a heat shield basically, for the oil drain. Um, tools I had to buy to be able to do this because um, I didn't have all the tools I needed. A lot of little fittings, you know, especially around like the vacuum lines and adapters to go from one size to another. Um, hose clamps that, um, that I needed some bigger hose clamps I just didn't have the right size for. Um, zip ties, grease, I need to get grease, carb cleaner. Um, you know, you're going to want to plan a couple hundred bucks just for all that small stuff that adds up. You know, when you're doing it, you may not realize how much it actually runs, but everything starts adding up. And I got a bunch of receipts from the auto parts store and even Home Depot for getting some stuff. Uh... But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, once this center is done, I'm gonna bring that car back into the garage and I got some things I'm gonna do on that. Uh, that car is already boosted as a Vortex supercharger. And um, so that is just gonna be a cleaning it up and making it look pretty again because this car's getting old. Needs some love, hasn't had some love. It's been parked outside for the last year, which is really bad, I know. Um, still overall a very clean car. All right. Aloha. Peace out. Catch you on the next one. I nice still recording.